What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. And before we go into this video any further, I want to clarify that yesterday I did make an error when reporting the news. Now, Gamisha, they kind of worded the article a little bit strangely. So when they were referencing the online private lobbies in Splatoon, I perceived it as there not being any available to play with friends, but that wasn't necessarily the case. The wording ensued that there would not be any custom rule private lobbies in Splatoon. So you can still make a private lobby with your friends, but you just won't be able to change the rules of it, which still is pretty damn weird in my opinion, but there will most likely be private lobbies. The only reason why I really took that as there not being is because the wording was a bit weird, and plus Titanfall didn't have private lobbies in the very beginning when it was released. It was a little bit of strange of a game, so I was wondering if Splatoon was going to take the same route. Most likely they won't though, but I'll definitely be more perceptive when it comes to reading these articles and trying to, if I'm left in a gray area and I don't know exactly what an article is referencing, I won't just necessarily jump onto the first thing that comes to mind because that's a little bit harmful in some ways, you know, that can spread misinformation. And even though I am a hype news channel, at the end of the day, I don't want to spread around toxic misinform misinformative news, you know what I mean? So I do apologize for that. I do make my errors every now and then, but I'm, I'm simply a human being, you know? Hopefully some of you can forgive me, and for those of you that can't, sorry. Anyways, now we do have Splatoon news to talk about today, and I want to get into this because it's kind of big. It involves DLC in Splatoon, and most of us could see this coming from a mile away, considering that Splatoon is only 1.8 gigabytes large as a file size. But either way, let's look into this article a little bit more before I start talking out my ass and sounding like an ignorant buffoon. Let's keep moving. Um, Splatoon DLC plan post launch to keep interest, and this is a strategy that I was hoping Nintendo would take with a lot of their games this generation. Thankfully they are. And we see that in Smash Brothers, and now we're going to see it with Splatoon apparently as well too. So Splatoon DLC is something that Nintendo development team plans to follow up with after the new ink blasting third person shooter launches next month. Thank God. As I'm speaking to Games Radar, Splatoon's producer, um, I'm not going to read that because I don't want to tongue tie myself, said that his development team plans to release post-launch content, which is great news in so many ways. This idea is to maintain a level of interest for the game by providing fresh content. We cannot go into a lot of detail today, but we do have some plans to follow up with content to keep interest in the post-launch. On the, We on the development team are thinking of the launch as the first step of sorts. We hope to add in, we hope, we hope to add to that in terms of content and even to the degree that we're hoping that this will become a franchise that Nintendo can be proud of. And even though some of you may perceive my worrying about Splatoon as me not wanting the game to do well, it's not necessarily that I don't want the game to excel out there. I mean, I, of course I want Splatoon to do well. I, I really am rooting for this game in a lot of ways. But it's just the critical mind that I have nowadays, especially with last generation, or excuse me, not last generation, but last year's disappointing game lineup, I just have some concern about Splatoon if it'll really have that bulk of hearty content to kind of keep people coming back and to keep the replay value high. That's, all, that's the only place that my concern is, but I still want the game to do well. And we can't judge the game based on what we know right now. Once we get it in our hands, we'll be able to truly see for ourselves, because there's just so many experiences that you cannot overlay on top of words and you know paragraphs and articles and shit and even video. The only way you'll really be able to know is if you play that thing. Um, Splatoon offers a players a variety of gameplay options, including online and local multiplayer modes. Black Belly Skate Parts, Salt Spray Ring, and Wally Eye Warehouse are just a few of the multiplayer maps available online. Sounded like a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog level select screen from 1992, nigga. Damn. Um, Nintendo could easily incorporate more maps via future Splatoon DLC, and yesterday Nintendo announced a special special edition, oh yeah, guys, I've seen this shit, the, the apparent special edition Splatoon Wii U game bundle pack. Let's read this first. Um, fans interested can purchase the new hardware exclusively from Best Buy Store starting on May 29th, but the bundle doesn't really have anything really attractive to anyone who already has a Wii U. Like for instance, here we go, here's a special bundle, the deluxe set, and it includes Splatoon, a Wii U, and, um, you know, just the, the trimmings that a Wii U naturally comes with. But, yeah, it doesn't really have anything. I thought that it would at least include the Amiibo, but let's read through this a little bit more. Um, oh, never mind! Oh, wait, wait, hold on. A Wii U Special Edition Splatoon Deluxe Set ex launches exclusively in Best Buy stores next month. Blah, blah, blah. Fans interested in purchasing a Wii U may find the new Splatoon Deluxe Set to be an appealing purchase option when it appears in Best Buy stores and at the suggested retail price of $2.99. So if you don't have a Wii U yet, this is obviously the deal to get because you're getting it for a good price and you're getting Splatoon included with that too. So yeah, $2.99 for a Wii U. If you don't have one and you get it with Splatoon as well, it's a great deal. I feel like it's well worth it. 
but the Wii U isn't like specially decaled or anything. It doesn't have any amiibo included with it. That would have been sexy. I mean, it's already done at this point, but it would have really been nice to kind of see them include some amiibo with that. Not necessarily all three of the Splatoon ones, but maybe like one random Splatoon amiibo in every single Wii U game bundle. That would have been cool to see, but oh well. Um, the new hardware bundle includes a 32GB Wii U console, a download code for Splatoon, and a pre-installed copy of Nintendo Land. Yay. Um, the new Splatoon Amiibo series also launches on May 29th and includes the Inkling Girl, Boy, and the Inkling Squid figures. Tapping each figure on the gamepad will unlock special weapons, missions, and gear specific to each character. So, yeah, with all that said in mind, the only reason why you would need this bundle is if you don't have a Wii U. And here we go, Nintendo, even though this does seem like a little bit of a lacking move considering that they don't have anything else really specially to call for Splatoon, but they don't even have the Amiibo included, this is actually a great move for people who don't have the Wii U yet. And we already know a lot of people don't have the Wii U because it's barely scratched the surface on 10 million sales um, for all the time that it's been out now. So they're trying to, I guess, make the attractive deal of buying a Wii U even more attractive now. Wii U is already affordably, competitively priced, and the fact that you're now getting a game included with it, which is kind of like a brand new release, this is adding some good incentive out there. But at the end of the day here, I'm not sure this will help the sales of the Wii U too much, but that's not what we're talking about right now. We're just talking about Splatoon, basically, and the original thing that we were addressing was the fact that there is going to be DLC for this game after the fact. Kind of a no-brainer in my opinion, but it's good to know either way. And it makes me feel a lot more solid and secure that this game will have post-release content to keep it fresh in case it does go bad within the first week, like Titanfall did. I'm sorry, I keep shitting on Titanfall, and it's not like it's a bad game, but it didn't last at all. Either way, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, you know, Titanfall and Splatoon, I understand, they're totally different games. I'm not comparing them in the slightest, but just because they're shooters, they do share a few characteristics. And that's the only thing where I'm concerned about. You know, I've seen shooters that have really great mechanics. There have been some that lasted throughout the ages. I mean, you can't lie about Modern Warfare, but at the same time, there are some that just kind of fall flat. I don't want to see Splatoon fall flat. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.